Hello, Tyson Carter here, manager of client education at IMT. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, how do I resolve potential overlay tasks? Now, real quick overview. Potential overlays are situations where one record has been updated. The data in that update doesn't really look like the data that lived there before. Hence the potential overlay that the record has possibly been overwritten with someone else's data. There are two main ways that you would get to a potential overlay normally. One is by looking in the inbox. Uh, here we see several potential overlays, but a lot of our clients don't use the inbox. Instead, another way to get there is through the resolve screen. We look for task type of potential overlay and search. An overlay is really a problem at the source. An overlay is not actually a problem in MDM, but rather MDM is saying, hey, something might have happened over there that we think you should take a look at. So I'm going to start by opening up this first overlay. In this case, we have a record that used to belong to Betty Beams. Now the data shows Paul Bemis. One of the ways that you can look at an overlay task is by looking at the three bottom columns. Now, the best way to envision this is that the column on the left is the past. The column in the middle is the present and the column on the right is the future state. So if we want Betty's data to be restored, we could either go line by line or we can click the arrow at the top, which will copy everything over. Now, Paul's data should never really have ever been in this record. So if I check mark, mark inactive to delete, that's going to take Paul's data and instead of making it inactive, which is still searchable or scorable, it's going to actually block it off as deleted. It's in the file for record keeping, but it will not be searchable or scorable in the future. We come up to the little pencil here and choose resolved. You can also configure the system so that it automatically resolves on save. And from here, I'm going to save it. And there it shows that it has saved that particular task. Now, let's take a look at one other example here. We've got Thomas Fermi. Now, when we open up this, we see that this record originally belonged to Tina Fern. And when we look at Tina Fern's data, there was no date of birth and there was no mobile phone. So if I try to reset back to Tina, you'll notice that the date of birth and the mobile phone don't have an option to go back to. You can't choose nothing is the value. So what we're gonna do is have to go back into the record and make a correction. Now remember, resolving a potential overlay here is not really fixing the problem in the source. What it's doing here is lifting a quarantine that we impose where we block all incoming updates to the record until this is sorted out. There's still work to do with the source to correct this issue. But let's go back into this record. So let's search for it here by source ID. And when we find the record this way, we have the ability to fix the problem with the date of birth and the mobile phone. One of the ways that I could do this is I could actually come here to the main attributes window and I could just delete the date of birth. And when I do that, that's totally fine. Um, here, I'll go ahead and save that. That's deleted that. The other way that I could do this is by going to the attribute history tab. When I'm here at the Attribute History tab, um, we had a mobile phone that we also needed to delete. You see that the date of birth got a status of D, but that mobile phone still has a status of A. I'm going to change that to D for delete as well, just to make sure that that mobile phone is no longer considered part of Tina's data set. And we'll save that. The last example we're going to take a look at, we'll return back to Resolve. Here we have David Johnson. Let's take a look at his overlay. 
In this case, we have a trauma patient. That trauma patient really has minimal data. This is the hospital's main switchboard. That's the date that he was admitted. But now we have his real data. So in this case, this is an overlay that isn't actually a problem. The patient either woke up or a next of kin arrived to actually give information. So in this case, I'm not even going to mark an active to delete. I'm simply going to resolve it and say that this overlay is taken care of. So I hope that this helps give you some basics about how to work with potential overlays. And remember, the real work is back at the source where you have to fix the problem that actually caused the overlay. Thanks and have a great day.